Hi, everybody. My name is Ranjan, and today I'm going to talk to you about continuous time echo state networks and how they can be used to accelerate general nonlinear systems. And hopefully this blub, uh, you know, piques your interest and motivates you to come see my poster at uh, JuliaCon. So specifically, I'm going to talk about what exactly are continuous time echo state networks and, and show you a few results, namely a couple of orders of magnitude speed up over realistic uh, engineering systems. Um, with about uh, five five percent error, which I think is pretty promising. All right, now modeling and simulation powers advances in many different verticals. For example, whenever a new drug is discovered, its effects are simulated in a virtual clinical trial, and this helps uh, drug companies uh, uh, predict and avoid uh, failures that you might see in a real clinical trial, and um, and this this gives them a, a a large understanding and saves them a, a bunch of time and money. And there are equivalents of this in, 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 in other domains as well. Uh, for example, you can design a, an aircraft and run a bunch of safety tests on, the, on, the, on your final aircraft model to determine its safety. Um, but really, uh, these, these systems get, can get complicated. They can get very detail-oriented uh, 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 and, and become expensive to simulate, which is why you want to generate surrogates of them. And the way you do this using continuous time echo state networks is you define a fixed non-stiff uh, 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 dynamical system called the reservoir. And you calculate projections from this reservoir time series to your reference time series from your original system. And now, once you get uh, this projection at various points in the input space over which you want your surrogate to work, you can then construct a map between this, your input space and the space of projections. Um, and now uh, to, to, uh, prediction would simply involve uh, finding the, the right projection and then simulating uh, your original fixed dynamical system, which, which is cheap to simulate. And, uh, and, and this turns out uh, works quite well. And this, and this uh, fixed dynamical system here is what we're calling a reservoir. All right. Um, why do you care about, why should you care about this? Uh, CTSNs uh, uh, capture nonlinear dynamics very well, and they seem to be, seem to work quite well on on, on problems that uh, many uh, that many existing methods fail on, um, for example, this is this is the Robertson's equations, which uh, physics inform neural networks and uh, LSTMs. You know, methods that you'd associate uh, predict time series well, uh, they fail on uh, systems, uh, multi-scale systems like these that that have fast and slow reacting components. Um, and now. Um, we, we, we get about uh, uh, two orders of magnitude uh, speed up over, um, over engineering baselines like Dimola and, and, and Julia. And, uh, and we do this uh, quite well with uh, less than 5% accuracy as I, as I alluded to in the, uh, in the original slide. And uh, we are generally able to capture uh, all, all, the, uh, all, the, all the dynamics of the, of the system. And now we also find that the surrogate is reliable over the input space by you know, constructing a histogram of errors over you know, various points that are sampled in the, in, the, in, the, in, in the input space. And now once we have the surrogate, we, uh, we can deploy the surrogate in a global optimization loop. And we find that the surrogate actually finishes converging before one iteration of, uh, of the original system, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, this is a speed up of a couple of orders of magnitude uh, to reach within one percent of the of the optimum of the uh, of the reference system. Hopefully, this blurb uh, motivates you to to come check out my poster, and I can flesh out a lot many more details over there. And uh, hope you guys have a great uh, JuliaCon.